my beautiful butterfly. So welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video vlog. Um, yeah, it's going to be both because I got a lot of stuff I need to take care of today. I have hubby home with me today, so I'm super excited for that. And he's going to... Okay, I'm not super excited because he's home to help me clean. <laughs> but he offered to help me clean. He doesn't have to, but... Um, he offered to, so I'm like, okay, you know, and stuff like that. But I told him I'm going to vlog, and you're going to be in it. Or I'm going to do a video, and you're going to be in it. <laughs> because I need to get some stuff done. My living room looks horrible. My kitchen looks horrible. I'm going to show you some befores and durings and after we finish, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, just so you can see how bad it is. <laughs> uh, normally, when I tell you that it's bad, it's not really that bad. But it's that bad <laughs> um i had a few relaxing days here and um really relaxing days and didn't get a whole lot done that i needed to get done so i'm gonna get that done today i normally don't have my cleaning day for another two days but the house is really bad then i need to get it done today instead so my normal cleaning day is gonna be like ahead of my regular um cleaning day so that's what's gonna happen today and then um yeah and then i think I was going to throw some laundry in today, but I'm going to wait on the laundry probably for another couple days because I have to gather a bunch of stuff and this cleanup will help me gather what I need to after I'm done using my little towels that I need to clean the counters off and stuff like that. So yeah, cleaning day. So I hope you guys are ready for this cleaning day video because it's going to be quite a cleaning video. <laughs> I've got quite a bit to do. I look crazy, but I'm going to, I took a shower last night. That's when my hair is all bushy. This is my natural hair um, when it's washed. <laughs> I'm going to throw it up though and go to town on it. I already, uh, I prepped some dishes the other day. Those got put away because they were my crock pot ones and I wanted those out of the way because they're the bigger ones and I needed to do another set of dishes right now, which I'm going to do with you guys. And then we're going to move on to the rest of the house. The living room is really bad. <laughs> uh, it's just a lot of stuff that needs to be put away. I need to vacuum and wipe down maybe a couple tables and that's about it. But if you see the amount of stuff that I need to put away, which I'm going to show you in a little bit. I'm going to show you that first. I'm going to show you the state of my kitchen, <laughs> what needs to be done, and then everything else. And then we're going to, after we get done, we're probably going to chill the rest of the day. And I will, um, I'm going to try to, you know... I'm going to um, try to get as much done where, um, like, in, you know, done, like, the whole house and stuff, where we could, like, have part of this video doing other stuff. I was going to also try to make a crock pot recipe I had for a hot chocolate because it was really gloomy and cold. That's why I have a long sweater, a long sleeve sweater on, and it was really nice. But then the sun popped out, and I was like... Maybe this is not the right day to do that. So I'm going to wait on that, but be looking for that in a video because I have this really yummy recipe that I want to make. Um, I actually got it from another YouTuber and um, I hope she don't mind. She don't know me, I was, but <laughs> I know her, <laughs> but she don't know me. But if she sees my video, I hope she's like, oh, you copied me. But it was a really good idea and I really wanted to try that recipe, although I'm going to do it differently. So I'll show you that when I get there. Uh, when we get there, but make sure you look out for that video that has it. I will definitely put it in the title so you guys know. But anyways, we're not going to do that today. We're going to wait for maybe one of those gloomy, cold, rainy days. Because I think it would be really good for that kind of day. But um, anyways, let's get started. Let me show you the state of everything. And then we'll get into things. This definitely needs to get cleaned off. We're in my kitchen. My dishes need to be done. Things, oh hello, the lighting in here is going to be, give me some technical will give me some difficulties today i'm so sorry and then it actually looked a lot worse but you see there's a lot of stuff that needs to be put away because it looks very cluttered so i'm gonna try to do that <laughs> with the areas in here and then my floors look really bad i need to do my floors like acp it's just a bunch of little i don't know what it is and then i took out some meat for dinner we're having some tacos tonight. I'll show you those a little later, too. Um, my family calls them, um, well, actually, they're just some tacos. I'm not going to put all that in there, you guys, you know, but I'll show you that a little later. Um, so that's what that is. That's why that's out. It's defrosting right now for dinner. I'll show you when we get there. I just got to put a lot of this stuff away. I'll tell you the floors look messy. And then let me go show you the living room. So 
The living room and dining room. <laughs> Pace yourself, guys. It's going to get clean, though. That's what this video is. <laughs> um, this is real life over here, okay? <laughs> when you get busy, things happen. If you, got, if you have kids, you know, you guys all know that, you know, life gets busy and things get get messy. <laughs> but that's why God gave us the gift to clean up. So let's clean up our mess today. Let me go show you what I got to clean up. <laughs> So well, there's the man. Good morning. Hi. <laughs> he's chilling watching a movie while I do the kitchen part, and then he's going to help me in here. But, yeah, look, this living room needs a lot of cleaning up. There's stuff out. The floor needs to be clean. There's stuff from our breakfast. <laughs> um, yeah, all this area needs to be cleaned. And then when you come in here, it's like, whoa, girl, what happened in here? Tornado hit it. Stuff everywhere. I need to put stuff away. I don't know why my bag is like that. Stuff over here, just there's stuff everywhere. So it's going to get cleaned up today. Here, not so, hello, so bad, but I do need to wipe it down. And of course, these floors always need to be vacuumed. But yeah, it looks like a tornado hit it in here, but it's okay. Going to get cleaned. I got to clean those vases out because the flowers died sadly. So that'll get cleaned out today too. But yeah, and the the couches need to be um, cleaned up and straightened up and stuff like that. Later on, I'm going to wash that sheet. And uh, yeah, so let's get started on this house. Um, I got my uh, my uh, guy right there. He's going to help me today, he said. <laughs> he doesn't have to, though, but uh, we're going to knock this out together. So let's knock this out, guys.
Butterfly, um, hubby's eating a quick lunch, don't mind him. <laughs> we cleaned the, the, lit, the living room. All I gotta do left is the vacuuming, but I'm gonna wait till a little bit later because I have some more things to do going in and out and it's just gonna track. So, um, yeah, but the house looks really good. This area got really cleaned. I gotta do the same vacuum over here. Um, I closed up everything because I just wanted to keep everything closed and cool right now. I've got a little warm outside. And I'm going to leave this table setting off. It's going to stay over there for right now. Just so you can come eat on the table. It's clear. I just thought about that. Oh, he wants to watch, finish watching his movie. Um, but yeah, just so if we do decide to eat over here and stuff like that, it's clear for right now because um, I want to keep everything kind of tidy. I'll just have to... <coughs> Hold on, guys. Sorry about that. I don't know what happened. I just got to throw out the trash, hit the floor with the vacuum, and yeah. All nice and cleaned. It looks good in here. Nice and tidy. And um, uh, like I said, I'll, we'll vacuum a little bit later. Um, yeah, looks good. Everything's clean in here. Let me go show you the kitchen. And the kitchen got done too. I just, um, I just prepped some food and that's why this is in here. I prepped it right here and stuff like that. Pulled out some stuff that I'm going to use for dinner. And these dishes I just need to put away. And these dishes are from the prep. So I'm going to do that in a little while. But I was waiting for all these to dry. These right here, you guys, are really good. Like, I can't wait till they're like completely dried. And then I'm going to figure out what to do with them. But they're really good. They came out nice and clear. Clearer than I thought they were going to be. So yeah so that's just what's left and um a lot of this stuff is gonna stay because it's not too much clutter but all this is gonna go so i'm gonna just set that up there for now and that up there for now and then i'm gonna figure out a place for it and the floor has got nice and clean you've seen so yeah looks good so everything is all nice and done just this little area little stretch of area right here not a lot not a whole lot left you know and, uh, yeah, let me show you really quickly what I went ahead and prepped for dinner. Okay, I went ahead and shredded some cheese. I know my nails look horrible. Uh, there's going to be, this is going to have to go, and I'll tell, I'll update you on my nail situation in a while. <laughs> but, yeah, so this is just a bunch of shredded cheese. I shredded my, oops, shredded myself because I'm making a fa our family-style tacos. I'll show you those later. And then I chopped up some squash. Now, for this recipe, I'll show you a little bit of how I get it together later. But this is a squash, cheese, and tomato sauce, which is the Mexican tomato sauce recipe. I got it from an aunt of mine. She's now passed on. But it was super duper good when she made it. And I figured out how to make it. So I'm going to make it tonight. And I'm going to try to make some, um, like, fideo or... Probably some shell noodles because, uh, like, uh, Mexican noodles. What I only, but I don't know because I only have one more can of tomato sauce I'm running out. So I'm going to see how I can get it together because I need both cans for today. <laughs> so that's going to be for dinner. When I get there, I will show you guys everything. But for now, this is what I did. And the, and this the squash is going with that tomato sauce and cheese um, dish. It's going to be so delicious. I can't wait. I've been craving it forever. I haven't had it in years. But, um, yeah. So, um, I'll walk you through this part later today. But this is some prep that I did. I prepped these for the for that dish. And some cheese for the tacos. So, it's going to be a really yummy dinner. Hubby can't wait and I can't wait. Um, but, yeah, butterflies. All done. Hey, hello, butterflies. Hi. I look crazy. I look like a hot mess. But... You gotta, you gotta think. I was cleaning. <laughs> well, we were both cleaning. Hubby picked up some stuff. He's gonna actually vacuum for me later. He did the trashes and he put his stuff away, which I think he brought out some more stuff. He's gonna have to put away. <laughs> but um, yeah. So I got let, all we have left is to vacuum, and the house is nice and put together again. So I am so happy. It was such a big mess in here, you guys. You've seen it. It was big, and it was a lot bigger than I had anticipated um uh is that the word <laughs> then i had thought it was a bigger mess than i had thought um so yeah it was yeah it was a job but we got it done and in good time tomorrow i'm gonna clean my room but i'm gonna do that off camera and then i'm like slowly going through the fridge like every week i go through the fridge and just throw out stuff and clean dishes that are in there um i don't I don't typically do this I didn't do it in the past and it got it like caught up like I didn't 
how do I say it? It caught up to me. No, it didn't catch up to me. That's not the word. That's not the right word, guys. I'm sorry. I'm butchering it. Um, okay, so I didn't do this every week, which is go through the fridge and clean it out, go through my veggies, see what's still good, what needs to be used. I never really did that. I just kind of made my meal plan and did it for however long I needed to. And then if things started to go bad, then I would throw it away. But now I've been doing it weekly and sometimes I'll go in there daily, like every other two to two to three days, just to check and see how my veggies are doing. And that'll give me my meal plan for the next week or the next day. The only reason why I do that is because I don't want to be wasteful. Like we're in a time right now where we cannot be wasteful. Um, so I need to preserve everything. I need to cook everything and not waste everything So or anything. So... Um, we have we've been doing really good with that and we haven't wasted anything yet so I'm super happy about that so I have to do that in a little while I have to go in there and do that that's my process late, lately that's my routine lately I, I just want to explain that to you because you're probably like why do you go through your fridge so much every time there's a video or a vlog you're talking about needing to clean your refrigerator <laughs> it's every so often not every single day but I try to go in there daily <clears throat> weekly you know every few every couple days you know once a week or twice a week I try to go in there and just thoroughly check because I do have a meal plan for the week um every week I try to make a, a meal plan <clears throat> um unless it's a very busy week then we kind of just wing it with a whatever day you know what I mean or an oven pizza but I do it that way because um you know, so I, so we don't waste stuff, you know what I mean? So I have a meal plan every week, every, you know, for every day, so it's like that. So, yeah, I, I don't know if you guys get that, but, yeah, so I'm going to have to go through that right now in a little while and check that, but I'm going to take a little bit of a break here, <laughs> and then tonight we'll vacuum, get a little bit of other stuff doing. I got some, probably some more trash to throw out, and then, yeah, so I'm going to take a breather, and I'll chat with you guys a little bit later when we get to doing <clears throat> the floor, and I get started on dinner, because that. I really want to show you guys dinner. It's going to be so yummy, and I can't wait. Can you not wait? Can't wait. Yeah, we love those tacos, and he's going to love that. Yeah, I don't think he's ever had... Hi. <laughs> you never had that squash dish I'm no, going to make. Never. Yeah, he's never had it before. He's going to love it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> what are you up to? Nothing. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm going to take a little breather, and I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. I'm not getting like tired tired but i'm just like tired of cleaning <laughs> but things need to be done and you saw i still have a little bit left in the kitchen so i'm gonna try to take my break quickly here and then get finished with all of that so i'll chat with you guys a little bit later see you later see you later Okay, it's been a while later. We vacuumed as you've seen. Everything looks good. House is completely clean for me to mess it up again. No, <laughs> at least just the kitchen. <laughs> I'm about to cook right now. Um, the kitchen looks really good. What good still? It's all clean. Everything looks good. It's just what I mean that I mean my dishes <laughs> because I'm gonna dirty some dishes and I gotta cook. So 
I'm going to cook the ground beef tacos. I'm going to lay them out, put the seasoning, show you what I use after I lay it all out like that. So it won't confuse you guys step by step if you try to make these. They're super duper good and easy to make. So, and then I'm going to be making that squash dish that I told you. Um, the squash and tomato sauce. And then I'm going to make a little bit of some elbow noodles. It's like elbow noodle sopa. I've made it before like a thousand times probably. Well, not a thousand. I'm being dramatic. And uh, yeah. <laughs> I've made it like tons of times on here. Um, I showed you guys a little bit how it looked. I'll show you the whole meal after it's done obviously. But um, I'm not a chef. So I'm not going to do it all like chef style <laughs> um but what i am going to do is just lay it all out make it how i make it and show you when it's all done so yeah so let me lay out my taco meat i got my um pot here already heating with a little bit of oil and a little bit of salt and then i'm going to just toast um these elbow macaroni they're macaroni noodles right yeah you can get any kind you want and do this method with it doesn't really matter except for i don't think you can do the yeah, you could. You could do the um, actual pasta one to just make sure you do it this way or it won't taste like sopita. <laughs> so I'm just going to get this and put it inside there. Let it toast up a little bit and then add one can of this with some water. Let it cook up like rice. I'm not adding nothing else in there but salt and then after a little bit of pepper and then boom, that's done. And then um, I'm going to clip you right now. Oh, no, I'm not going to clip you. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, tell you that I'm going to get um, another pot here. I have this flat skillet one here. And I'm just going to go ahead and put some tomato sauce in it and a little bit of water and some salt. And then I'm going to put those squash in there. They're going to kind of like boil in the, in the uh, sauce a little bit. And then... Um, Put a little bit of salt, taste it for, you know, you know, put, you know, taste the salt in it, taste everything and see how it tastes. And then I'm going to, um, oh, throw, put a little bit of cheese on it and it's going to be so good. It's going to be a little bit of liquidy, a little bit like, not soupy, but it's going to be a little liquidy and it's going to taste so good, but it's going to thicken up really good. It's going to be really good. So that's how I make that. And for the tacos, <laughs> Um, I'll show you how I do that right now because that I want to show you the seasonings for that one because that's the main dish here girl is these tacos they're gonna be so good I've made them on here before I know some of my family that's watching they're gonna be like oh my goodness why didn't you make me any because <laughs> this is like a family fave we've we make these we've been, I grew up on eating these and they're so good um, so right now I'm just gonna toast my I have to put these noodles in the toast. I don't know if I want to put one or two bags in because it's just me hubby and there's a lot of other food going on. And my dog is barking. I have my window open right here. You could hear him barking. Sorry for that. So I'm going to make two because I can have leftovers for lunch. So I'm going to think about that because I want to make sure there's enough for dinner. And I'll make sure that there's enough for a little bit of leftovers tomorrow. Hubby probably won't have these with leftovers. He doesn't really care for sopita or rice too much. Uh, too, too much. He'll eat it, but he won't eat a lot of it. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and cook this up. Let me get my ingredients and lay out my tacos. And I'll show you those. And then I'll finish cooking. And I'll show you when it's all done. Butterflies, I'm looking lovely. I know. <laughs> but it's cooking and it's hot up in this kitchen. <laughs> so, I've got the rice going. It's already making. And I had to move my pots around on the stove because I almost started a fire. Yeah, I almost started a fire. No, <laughs> uh, my back burner just, you know, kind of uh, hasn't got used in a while, so it's acting up a little bit right now. But it's okay. I have the squash inside of the pan. I have it on medium. Let's see, like, like, it's on the, like, low setting, but it's halfway to the medium. But I think I'm going to move it back to the medium. I need it to be... I need the squash to cook. Um, now, when you do your squash, if you make this, okay? Actually, it's not squash. It's zucchini. I'm sorry. It's zucchini. <laughs> I keep saying squash because they remind me of the same thing. But they're not. They're similar, but not really the same, I guess. I'm not sure how that works. But they both taste the same to me. And they're really good. They're bomb. So, I love them. Um, I think either one would work, too. Squash, zucchini. No, not squash. Squash wouldn't work. Zucchini would. Zucchini's the better one. So, they kind of are different. 
Um, anyways, when you do cut cut them up, make sure you cut them up in chunks, but not big chunks. Make sure they're like about maybe half quarter size, maybe maybe quarter size chunks. Um, you want that that chunkiness, but you don't want the littleness. You don't want them to shrivel. You just want them to get that good kind of chunk. So make sure you do that, and then let them boil up in the water put your lid over it and then let it reduce in the water a little bit once you see it kind of thicken up a little bit then spread your cheese on it i have shredded cheese which i'll get out in a little bit and then i'll show you how i do it uh well i'm not gonna show you how i put the cheese on just put the cheese on i'll show you how it looks when it's all together it's supposed to be like a <clears throat> kind of like a thickness like um like when you make um, enchiladas, it kind of, the sauce is a little thick, but you got that cheese in there, but a little bit more liquidier, I want to say, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to let this thicken up a little bit, cooking quite nicely. If I feel like it has too much juice, I'll just go ahead and drain it, but I'm going to try to let it reduce and get um, like a thicken. So I'm going to leave this in here for a little while. You want to make sure try, if anything, start this first. <laughs> And then start your <clears throat> sopita if you make if you make something like this because, um, you know the water in here has to evaporate it more than the than the liquid inside of the sopa the sopita. So, yeah. Now, I'm gonna show you the star of the show. <laughs> well, Jesus is the main the main uh, event, but <laughs> here in this house. But um. Uh, I'm talking about the main event of dinner. <laughs> um, I already put together the, um, the tacos the way I need to get them before I put them into fries. So let me show you that right now. The light on for this one because it's kind of dim under here for some reason. But see, I just got the tortilla. Can you see this or do I feel like it's blurry? Okay. Yeah, here's the tortilla. Sorry about my nails again. But here, why does it look blurry for some reason? Can you guys not see that? What the heck is going on here? Hold on. It's a little better. I don't know what was going on there. But here's the tortilla, and you just get some of your ground meat, smush it down onto one half of the taco. I'm giving you guys the ingredients. In the past, when I have made this, I probably didn't give the ingredients. I didn't want to do it. I don't want to give this family secret out. But uh, I'm going to do it because it tastes bomb, and I want you guys to try to experience it yourselves. Uh, my mom made this for so many years. My grandma did, and... My grandma's mom did for so many years, and I'm pretty sure many other families have, but this way, I'm not sure. My mom's been making it um, for a very long time, and I'm telling you, it this tastes good. So what it is, you just get the meat, put on half of the um, tortilla. I prefer the bigger size round tortillas. You can use any tortillas you want. Just make sure they're, like, good size ones for your tacos. These are the actual, like, corn tortillas. Well, they have, like, a flour corn one. It's a little lighter than this. You could use that one. They give them big old stacks, but I'm using this one because the last time I used them, this tortilla stayed put together, and it didn't crack as fast as the other one. So, just do the half, and then smash your meat down on half, and then what I did was I put a little bit of salt first, and then I put a little bit of this garlic seasoning. Don't put too much garlic seasoning, though. Do not put too much because you're putting salt. So make sure it's like half the, half the quantity of it. So just get a little sprinkle, put it on there, a little sprinkle, a little sprinkle of salt, a little sprinkle of the garlic salt. Because remember, they both have salt. Okay, you don't want to salt it too much because <laughs> it'll be really salty. <laughs> Just do a little sprinkle of each, smash it down really good and into the meat and then grab your pepper, put it on top, smash it in really good. When you do that, see how it kind of mixes in together and then just fry it up. And um, all you do is put it in the pan while it's frying and it's kind of... Um, it's kind of thinning out a little bit, then you could kind of fold it. Right now you can't fold it because it's kind of like it'll break, but that liquid from the oil should make it fold up real nice. All right, well, those are the ingredients. I'm getting tired, can you tell? <laughs> and I've got to clean up this kitchen afterwards. So those are the ingredients, that's how it looks. I'm gonna cook, show you the food after, and then come in here and clean. I gotta put all this back up on my thing, clean up all this. So, oh, and I pulled out meat for tomorrow. Don't forget to come back for the next vlog because I'll be making pot roast and it's going to be delicious. <laughs> I've been wanting to make that for a while. So anyways, kind of let me show you a little bit of how this is. Oh, hello. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I'll come back to it. Look at it. it made me foggy. Hold on. 
There it goes. Let's see. I'm going to open it first, and then I could probably get in there. Ooh, it smells good in here. Hold on. Okay. That's what it's looking like. It looks so good. It needs to get rid of that juice a little bit more, but yeah, I'll show you the rest in a little while. It is done. It looks so good. It thickened and it tastes good. Have you got a taste? I know it doesn't look appetizing, but it is bomb. Okay. And that's the squash or the zucchini. Sorry, zucchini. And the tacos are almost all done. I have two tacos left cooking. And then actually, I have one more of that one. But um, yeah, we're just having cheese tacos tonight because I forgot to buy lettuce and I was going to chop up some tomatoes. But yeah, so we're just going to do cheese ones. I always forget the lettuce. I don't know why. I shouldn't do that though. But yeah, it's all done. I'll show you when it's all done and plated. The rice and the topita is done too. I'll show you that in a moment. But I wanted to show you the yummy tacos. Butterflies, dinner is done. There's those tacos. They look so good. Next time I'm going to put lettuce and cheese. I just forgot. Oh, I mean, well, lettuce and tomato. I forgot. And then here's that cheese and squash dish. You can see that it thickened up really nice. So, and then the uh, elbow noodles. They're a little, the elbow noodles are a little watery, but... They actually came out really good. What do you think? Good. Look at this guy, man plate. I served it different because I didn't know if he wanted uh, the juice on his tacos. So it don't matter. And then we got our chile choices. <laughs> and I'm about to get some Kool-Aid that I made right now. But yeah, this is dinner, guys. Like, all that hard work paid off. This food tastes good. I had a taste of the taco, I ain't going to lie. While I was making them, the first one, because I wanted to see if they came out too salty, and they were just right. So, I'm going to chat out with hubby, and I'll talk to you guys after we're done. Excuse the mess, but do you see that dot right there? That is a, that is not dirt. That's a humongous spider. Let me see if I can zoom. Okay, I can't really zoom. Couldn't really zoom in without getting blurry, but, uh, yeah. That guy is super duper huge. I don't want to get any closer, but look how big he is. It's a big spider. I'm afraid he's going to jump. Oh, look, you can see him a little closer. Oh, look how big he is. Oh, now you guys see him. <gasps> Do you see him? He's big. <laughs> we don't know where he came from, but... I know where he's going. He's going bye-bye because I don't want him crawling on my makeup stuff here. Probably where he came from, but me and Hubby are like, we're uh, hunting him right now. <laughs> so hopefully we can get him. Yeah, he did. He, he's up on the roof. I Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to go out of the room, no. you guys. No. Okay, I'm going to let Hubby get him and I'm going to go out wait, of the wait, room because I don't want him to jump on me. Butterfly. Hubby's still getting the spider while well, he does that. I wanted to show you that I cleaned up the kitchen from dinner. Oh, that's him getting tape. Um, oh, hi. <laughs> I just have this dish here that I need to clean it soaking. And then these to put away. They're still drying. I think they're done. I think I could put them away now. Put all this back. And I'll just give my floor one more sweep tomorrow. But yeah, and look at how it looks nice in here this evening. I gotta close that but looks really nice and clean i was gonna do this tomorrow but i was like you know what i'm gonna do this today because i just want to cook and do laundry little things i gotta do tomorrow so yeah got all this done and it looks very good uh yeah hopefully get the spider because i don't want to go back in there and be dealing with that but i gotta put all that away i gotta figure out what i want to use these jars for I know that I wanted to use one for milk and maybe one for like juice and then I gotta find areas to put a lot of this stuff that got cleaned but um yeah so this is all that's left right here that I need to deal with but and then of course that so I think I'm gonna put these away really quickly and then I'll go end the vlog with you guys okay butterfly the mess that got it done he got the um the spider out of there <laughs> yeah. hey, the and look he needed a soda for the hard work that he did I'm just kidding Okay. Yeah, he had to get tape to get him down because he, he didn't want to come down. And we were trying to like actually get him to live and take him outside, but it, it was no, it was no keeping him alive, guys. He was just going all over the ceiling. There was no way. <laughs> but he went to heaven. Sadly, I'm so sorry. I didn't want to do that, but there was no way he actually was gonna like fall on my part of the bed. That's how far he got to the other side of the wall. And then when Hubby got him, he fell actually on my bed, on my 
spot. So, anyway, he's gone. We got him out. <laughs> it's accomplished. So, um, yeah, butterflies. So that's the deal with the the spider and the house. <laughs> um, I actually we we both took a shower and I just got in some PJs and um, about to go lay down. And as soon as we did all that, we seen him. And I was like, oh, no, we are not. Thank you. I was like, we are not sleeping with him in our room. Because <laughs> I don't want him on my arm. I had one on my arm one time. And I was like, I freaked out, huh? And I got up and jumped out of bed. I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, it was a big thing. <laughs> and she, was, she also was like, um, lungara. What is that? He has his own language, guys. I'm so sorry. I don't know what that means. Hopefully, he doesn't mean anything bad. But he has no little language. It's it's um, it's the thing here with him all day long. Why'd no, you turn the fan off on me? It was he, the umungara. What is that though? Uh, one from uh, water boy. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about um the water boy, the um Amlandu um, um How do you say it? Amlandura <laughs> umungara. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I think it has something to do with your brain, though. Um, I think so. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, butterflies, we need some sleep. <laughs> so, um, hold on. Um, sorry, I'm just taking my night vitamin. Um, my night vitamin gummy. gummy. So, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> He's got his own language. We need some sleep. We're going to go lay down. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Whew. Sorry, I'm a little winded right now because I was like running in and out of the room. Because I don't want to be in there when that spider was there, okay? I just want to go. Here, give him what he needed and get out. Cause I really don't like spiders. I don't want... <laughs> I think it's... Um, Amlandu, oh, oh my gosh, I can't really say it, you guys. But you guys, if you've seen Waterboy, you know what I mean. I'm tired. Maybe tomorrow or another day, I can let you know what the correct term is. Amlandu to Amlangada. I don't know if that's the correct way, but anyways, I'm going to sleep. You guys don't want to hear any more about this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below if you're new here. Thank you so much for clicking on and subscribing if you did. If you haven't already, don't worry. It doesn't get this weird. And it doesn't stay this weird. <laughs> but um, we are, you know, my, my hubby, he's, he's just something. But anyways, I will talk to you guys later on. Later Thank you so on. much for watching. <laughs> you see? He just like popped in and out of here. All right, guys. Good night. <laughs>